what I discovered um, was that glyphosate disrupted our bacteria, of which we have a wonderful symbiotic relationship with. We have over 100 trillion bacteria representing some 1,000 species. And without those bacteria, we would not exist. Glyphosate uh, kills bacteria. It was registered back in the 70s as a bactericide, as well uh, as an herbicide for plants. It doesn't kill all bacteria, but um, it disrupts the balance or the homeostasis of our bacteria. It allows overgrowth of certain species. Uh, glyphosate disrupts um, methionine synthesis as well, and methionine uh, is a, an essential sulfur uh, containing amino acid. And sulfur is what our body uses to take out the trash. Our body sulfates things and by doing so uh, we're, we're able to metabolize them, we're able to process them. Uh, with glyphosate disrupting our bacteria and disrupting our sulfur metabolism, uh, that's a very, very critical thing. Our bacteria are necessary to produce essential amino acids that our body cannot make. There, uh, there are 20, 21 uh, amino acids that are the building blocks of life. Every cell in our body is made up of these uh, amino acids. There are three uh, amino acids, the aromatic amino acids, that um, our body cannot make. Our tryptophan, tyrosine, um, and phenylalanine. Now the importance of tryptophan is that we need tryptophan to make serotonin. Serotonin regulates and controls and balances two things, uh, our blood sugar and insulin uh, regulation and also our IGF-1 growth factor. IGF-1 regulates uh, our neurogenesis. It's responsible for our body uh, making new neurons. Uh, when our neurons are damaged, when we suffer damage from environmental uh, exposure and stress or uh, when we or chemicals in our diet or that we put on our skin or whatever IGF-1 produces new neurons throughout our life it's neuroprotective so it directly affects our children's ability to connect neurons and their learning ability yes it directly affects our children's IQ uh, their neurodevelopment, their cognitive skills, the umbrella of autism spectrum disorder that covers uh, ADHD, autism, Alzheimer's, all, all these uh, neurological uh, diseases um, are basically all controlled by IGF-1. And when that's impaired, um, we've got serious problems. And if, if we can touch on that for a moment, you've mentioned in your report that 50% of our children will have autism by 2025 if we continue at the rate we're going, and this is the reason why. Well, consider that um, uh, back in 1970, one in 10,000 children had autism. Uh, since 1970, uh, if we look at uh, the year 2007, one in 150 children had autism. And then in 2009, um, one in 100 children had autism. And as of 2013, one in 50 children have autism. So if we continue the current trend by 2025, um, every other kid's gonna have autism. One in two. One in two, 50%. Because of the IGF-1, you're talking about the serotonin that inhibits the ability to produce the IGF-1. That's correct. Um, glyphosate destroys the ability of bacteria to produce tryptophan. Our body uses the tryptophan uh, to produce serotonin. 90% of the serotonin uh, that our body produces is produced in the gut. 10% oh. is produced in our um, neurologic system, in our brain. If the bacteria are disturbed, uh, then we can't manufacture uh, enough serotonin. We become deficient, and when we become deficient in serotonin, that affects our IGF-1. It also affects our uh, blood sugar and insulin regulation. Diabetes. Those, right. So there's 
two things that are directly impacted because uh, glyphosate affects tryptophan and affects serotonin. Serotonin activates endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which um, is responsible for insulin secretion. Um, it's also uh, responsible for nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is a gas uh, that, that's, that's produced that uh, uh, causes smooth muscle relaxation. People that, uh, that have asthma and COPD have impaired endothelial nitric oxide synthase production. They don't uh, produce enough nitric oxide to relax their muscles, the smooth muscle. So they have that, that, uh, that reaction and it tenses up the, uh, the muscle and they can't breathe. This is, is also impaired directly related to, to serotonin, but also related to glutathione and glutathione synthesis, which is also disrupted by herbicides in our food supply. And I mean, we can see a tremendous increase today. People running around with inhalers and... Asthma. Yeah, we've heard that it's now one out of three of our American children that have either asthma, autism, allergies, or autoimmune diseases. And it's directly related to the uh, herbicides and chemicals in our food supply. This is it, like you are sure about this? I am very sure about this. Because a lot of moms out there would say, oh, vaccines are the reasons for autism or pollution in the environment or genetics. What makes you so sure that this is it for autism and for many other illnesses? Glyphosate enhances the effects of other exogenous uh, exposures, other chemicals that we're exposed to. Uh, it allows the toxins to enter the cells where they cause damage to the cells machinery. Glyphosate enhances the effects. And so it's, it makes it, it makes other chemicals more able to impact our bodies. Yes, our because bodies. glyphosate uh, disrupts our CYP450 enzymes as well as our bacteria. Our CYP450 enzymes are our body's, a major portion of our body's detox system. It's how we process chemicals that we're exposed to, whether it's on our skin, whether we eat them, uh, drink them, uh, breathe them in. Uh, we need the CYP450 enzymes to process them. Um, glyphosate uh, enhances uh, the ability of uh, chemicals like aluminum, arsenic, mercury, to pass the blood-brain barrier because glyphosate is a cosmetrol. It affects the characteristics of water, the interfacial water stress. It allows things to enter that would not normally enter. Okay, so it's like, it's like a bad guy that breaks the dam down and lets everything bad come in. That's correct. This is also what's happening to bees 50% of our bees are gone. It's impacting their neurology, causing them to die off. We're, we're creating this.